Now to a pivotal Senate race that could have a major impact on the balance of power in Congress. Democrat John Fetterman is running for Senate in Pennsylvania. The 52-year-old lieutenant governor will face Republican Dr. Oz in November. Fetterman held his first rally Friday after suffering a stroke in May. Three months ago, three months ago, I may not, I may not have made it. But now I'm standing right here in Erie. You are going to deliver for us in November, and that will deliver Pennsylvania for us, and I will deliver the 51st vote in the Senate. CBS News reporter Sarah Ewell Weiss was at the rally and joins us now from Erie, Pennsylvania. Sarah, how many people were at the rally tonight, and what was the mood? You know, this was a big moment for the Fetterman campaign after he was off the campaign trail for three months because of that stroke. And when I showed up tonight, there was a line all the way out the door here at the convention center, all the way down the street. Uh, and a lot of energy from people who were here. Uh, you can't tell now because they're slowly packing up, but behind me, the room was completely packed. A campaign official said they expected three to 400 people. Uh, they may have doubled that. When Fetterman took the say stage, he said there were 1,400 hundred people here at an event in August uh, coming into the fall primary season. Uh, that's a good sign for energy for the fall ahead. Fetterman told our Pittsburgh station Thursday that he has no physical limitations after the stroke. Did this come up at all during the rally? So he did talk about having the stroke. He was visibly emotional when he brought it up, saying he might not have been here. He thanked his wife, said he, she had saved his life. Uh, when he had that stroke back in May, right before the primary, uh, his, he wasn't feeling well. His wife made him go to the hospital, and, and that may have saved his life, likely saved his life. Uh, but it's been a, a slow recovery uh, moving forward. He's says he should be back 100 percent. The doctors are saying he should be back 100 percent. He said in that interview with KDKA uh, that one of the issues that he had was that he still sometimes misses a word, uh, but that's getting better and better every day. So here tonight, he did thank his supporters uh, for sticking with him. Uh, he did thank his wife, obviously, and he said how very grateful he was uh, to actually be here at this time. It's an amazing uh, recovery, to be sure. Meantime, Dr. Oz is the Republican nominee for Pennsylvania in the Senate. He has attacked Fetterman, calling him a socialist and demanding the two debates several times. What has Fetterman said about his opponent? You know, he actually really didn't bring him up tonight. Throughout the campaign that had been mostly online for the past three months, they really have been poking fun at Dr. Oz, uh, really going after him, saying he's not from the state, saying he's from New Jersey. Uh, also, because he's a big TV personality, a multimillionaire, they talk about him being out of touch with everyday Pennsylvanians. He didn't bring up more policy topics really tonight specific to Dr. Oz, uh, but he did continue to poke fun at him in that he's from New Jersey and asking how many mansions he has, which has been an ongoing theme for him. Of course, Fetterman has said tonight and in the past that he wants to run a positive campaign. He just has, says he won't talk about if Dr. Oz decides to go nasty, uh, but he says he's focusing on the positives. And, you know, when he had been off the campaign trail, they had been taking uh, time to really go to voters through social media, connect with them online, through advertising. Uh, and so a lot of it was more fun. Uh, they pulled a lot of file video of footage footage from Dr. Oz in the past, uh, because he is a famous man, uh, they pulled a lot of that video and used that kind of to counter Dr. Oz versus Fetterman. But they really didn't go after him tonight specifically on policy, uh, more just uh, the poking fun aspect of this. But also just saying he's not uh, from, from Pennsylvania and he's also not in touch with Pennsylvanians. Why did Fetterman choose to hold the rally in Erie? Yes, this is extremely important. Erie is considered a bellwether for Pennsylvania. Uh, Fetterman said it tonight. His campaign has said it in the past, and others have told me this. The campaign officials have told me that win Erie, win Pennsylvania. You know, uh, Biden won the state by about a point in 2020. Uh, President Trump won the state by about a point in 2016. Uh, and so it really goes to show this is a very key county in the state, uh, and it is one that could be indicative of how the rest of the state votes. Sarah Ewell Weiss, thank you.
Thank you.